This isn't Sparkle. Doesn't That's Sparkle. Who I am off stage. Sparkle is Hannah Montana, bro. No one told me Sparkle was Hannah. Mo she got the best of both worlds. This makes sense now. Okay. Welcome back. I'm Kieran, and as an ex Genshin player, I've been checking out the world of Honkai Star Rail for the first time. I'm already curious about the characters and love their interactions. It was time to check out the Myriad Celestia trailers and see if the lore of the game will interest me just as much. No spoilers, please. Most of my questions are rhetorical, and I want answers from actually playing the game. If you want to see that, by the way, I'll be streaming over on my Uncut channel on YouTube in the next couple of weeks. So make sure to subscribe over there. Link is in the pinned comment, so I'll see you guys there. Massive shout out to new subscribers of the day, Gold Shard and Eladi76. All right, so we got the Myriad Celestia trailer, Fables About the Stars Part 1. So we got a Part 2 out here. Let's make an exchange, shall we? An exchange, an exchange. of memories. Literally. Or are you just changing I information? Of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. Damn, that's beautiful. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen. Is this Kafka? Of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar radiance. This is just the what's home girl from Eden Zero, like the mother in the sky. Go now. The March star mother. Me into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march towards the light. The destruction, Nanook. Yet that light began to burn. Are we a mummy. Through the clouds as a golden death. Towers crumbled and the people fled for the sun so... was to set and meet with vicious destruction. Hold on, you look like my lion brethren I like in the character trailers. But be not dismayed, oh child of the world. So these are all like mythical beings within the Star Rail world? You must follow the traces left behind in the storms. That's just Sagittarius, bro. Was that other one Leo? Like the celestial no. and guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud that of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Hold on, because this feels like they were talking about maybe like the gods of the world. And now these people look kind of more present day. Like the earth, they say. Once. Why am I seeing toes, bro? She got wheat. Sprouts will grow to the sky and the dew that falls from their branches. Okay, so you're like you of sickness and poison. So that one seems to be like a god of like um agriculture, I'm guessing. Blindfold your eyes, they say. That the approach Oh, Earth is done, bro. May strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. Nor numb your stride. This supposed to be eyes. Majestic gates, they say, and lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the oh, that's so interesting, Lapis, because we're seeing like Earth, similar to like uh like the Geo element in Genshin, which makes me wonder: Do we have elements in the same way in Honkai Star Rail? But Lapis, as in like the the same god from Genshin. I wonder if they're like Fire similar. The, the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. A harmony. Then they say, Oh, she a whole puzzle. You have reached the end. Enter into the paradise that envelops all. Dude, that's kind of cool. Oh, she got three heads. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts. This is so cool. I really like that design. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance. Wait a minute. I'm seeing the masks. Was it Sparkle, the girl with the mask? I wonder if there's any relation there. Listen to the infant in the mirror, the waves as they enter the dream, the tipping of the balance, the shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself and take all such Ice element. Oh, the train. This is the path you should walk, they say. 
Machiavelli, depart once more. Machiavelli. She looks countless shooting. As Lisa's cousin. Streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, it will carry your wish. That's interesting. Of distant worlds. So that was the character from the start with the with the cards telling us about everything that's happening. It kind of reminds me of how in Persona you have like the tarot card readings and it's basically telling you the story of the tarot. I think this is basically the same thing. Man, interesting. So I guess this is Honkai's way of introducing us to like all the gods and the important higher up characters and like the overall lore in the world. Kind of hard for me to grasp considering I haven't even played the game yet. But it was interesting. All right, so we got history of the Zhan Zhao. I cannot pronounce anything. I can barely speak English, so you're gonna have to forgive me. <laughs> Seven Arbiter Generals. I'm wondering if these are the characters that I said looked way more modern, and they kind of like showed off like a little bit of in the previous uh, trailer. I guess those could maybe be the generals. I don't know. We're about to find out, but maybe they teased them. I regret them. to admit it, but the Xian Zhao have very Xian few Zhou. legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? So they're immortal. But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. It began 8,000 years ago. When the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality. Hold on, so they weren't always immortal? ancestors into the astral sea. They found immortality. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces Hold on. of the divine. Isn't that that same puzzle, goddess? The plagues Could be wrong, though. I'm not seeing themselves. multiple faces. And offered an immeasurable lifespan. But the blessing Fair. was a curse. Those who so the gods from the previous trailers became the deathless doom. Hold on a sec. And thus the alliance's long and peaceful years rotated into group. Sickness, treachery, blood, and tears. Damn, this is some Adam and Eve, like, eat the apple type beat. Of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended yes, okay. and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Heading yeah. six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Right, so Behold that's who the generals the are. Side, six generals of renown. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao. This one seems cool. I hope they're in game. I want to see that. Merlin's Claw. Strong and righteous is Hua Yen, the Flaming Heart. Uh, what? Hold on, you just telling me you're a lotus flower? I was expecting to see like a, a thing. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang, the seer strategist. Now hold on a sec. Mighty and powerful is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Mysterious and fair is Yao Wu, the Patina Justice. Hold on, are they all still human? I'm a little confused here because in my head. I started to think that maybe they became animalistic or they, you know, they took on animal form. But no, I think those are just like the, um, the logos to like represent them. Wise and brave. Is yes, it is them. The oh my God. Because <laughs> Cause I was waiting for Jin Yuan's name because when they showed the strategist earlier, I was like, would that not be Jin Yuan? But no, this is, Wow. Fine foresight. Damn, so he's been around Seven forever. Generals wield extraordinary powers. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends. Doesn't he summon this thing? Foes. 
With skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borson he I think he does summon this thing. Loss were met. I'm sure I remember something like that in his animated trailer. There he is. An army must be of one heart and mind, where skillful sleight of hand is little use. The cloud That's knights entrusted interesting. their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the cloud knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the cloud knights! Is he the only one left? So in my head, it came across as though. Similar to, you know, like the, the Jinchuriki and Naruto, how they're like bestowed like a great power that's like kind of within them. And it seems like that dude is kind of like held within Jinyuan in some way and he can like summon it and use it. Interesting. Either way, I'll be super curious and excited to see if the rest of them pop up in the story. Because I guess it's, it's also going to be like the icons from Final Fantasy 16. As clueless as I am about the story, this is definitely doing well in making me curious about what's going to gonna happen. Kafka. This next one. Oh, God. Well, I guess it's Kafka. <laughs> <laughs> the Japelia Rebellion. Okay, so there was a whole rebellion. Maybe I'm gonna learn like her entire origin story right now. I'm curious. Kafka, Stellaron Hunter. So she was Stellaron How Hunter. Do you plead? Oh, she guilty, bro. Hold on, they got her locked up. She on that Ace Attorney trial. Beyond pardon, but the Japella Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the after. What in the Beastars is going on, bro? We got Doberman. That's definitely the devil right there, bro. That's Satan right there. Oh, goat horns. We got Louis from Beastars. Admit your guilt and embrace your punishment. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> she does not care, bro. <laughs> plead to the following accusations. I guess the Stellaron Hunters might be her group you even. The premises of the Atuin Universal Auction manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of its Hold on, is this what we saw in her trailer? ...damage amounting to over 860 billion credits and absconded with the auction item. How do you plead? I'ma be real, guys. If you see a massive hand come down like the claw from Toy Story and pick up your diamond, that might be on you. Because there's no way you ain't doing something about that. It's not very conspic like inconspicuous, is it? Guilty as charged, but not a devout audience. <laughs> the cyber prison of Inupis stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality. Data demons. Propelling the world towards a judgment day, all in order to take the meta code. Hold on, run that back. When the Sword Art Online just happened, hold on. So you're telling me data demons can infiltrate the real world with reverse isekai as well? There is so much to process as far as like... Please. I admit it. She really said Digimon. Deserve the taste of freedom. You violated the ring world Golconda, disseminated the Philosopher's poison virus across all colonies. She's got a long resume. Million inorganic entities to turn into the Iron Giant? And stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, silencing the entire world. How do you plead? Guilty as charged, I'm guessing. Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. Wow, she said, hey, I just did what you guys would do. That's crazy. But sure, we took the thing. The Trobus disappearance. The lore 51 stellar. Is that Tiger, bro? Why they all got like Cyclops eye beams going on? Incursion. And so on. A total of 46 criminal cases. I'm impressed. Admit that all these malicious incidents were the work of the Stellaron Hunters. I guess they're an organized if you group, ask so. Me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. The Annihilation so Gang. I confess, it seems you forgot one, though. The murder of you guys? <laughs> Wait. What do you do to the. Hold on, they had strings attached to them. I thought their heads were coming off. I'm not gonna lie to you. But just, it was just explosion. Okay. Her in the back, she looked like homegirl from Chainsaw Man. You should really stop playing. Optimus Prime? Kafka. <laughs> Hold on. So she's friends with, with Decepticons now. This time, Her group looks sick, though. It's the music. I love the music here. I do remember her because she was the girl with the games, right? Random Decepticon over here. Swaggy 
Swaggy uh, Jin Yuang's cousin going on with the blue hair. Random black cat. Okay. Oh, hold on. Swaggy Jin Yuan is Blade. That's Blade. That's why it looks familiar. Why bro in a suit for? He got that Lloyd Forger swag on. I will say, for a villain, she is a very cool character. I really do like her and uh, and the group. I wouldn't mind if, you know, they join, they join forces with the good guys at some point. Because I don't know entirely if they're going to be, like, the main group, considering we have, like, gods in the world, you know? All right, the history of the Zhang Zhao, Exodus of the Five Dragons. So we learn it. Hold on. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. This voice sounds mad familiar. The ink brush style? This looks beautiful. Of all dragons. Before the dawn of history, long traversed the burgeoning chaos. This is going to be some Ouroboros type beat. To existence. And on that path, the revelation this is so of the pretty. See? See? Eating its own tail, Ouroboros. Hold on, I might be right there. Then came our emergence. Us, long scions. I visited Lyaris, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon sat overseeing the turning of day Jesus. and night. The change of seasons. Can I just say, imagine living on planet Earth, looking up and just seeing a dragon's jaw, bro. I don't know. <laughs> It's nighttime all the time. Shelter the lives within. Could the revelation of the permanent signify the timeless nature of one's greatness? The relentless pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. So this is the fallacy of the Right, because we did see this from another perspective in the first trailer, right? Author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people. In the land the of Infernalian Wattles, people? The undead dragon Who are they? Python's breath showered flames on the land below. That's Bahamut! <laughs> what is going on? For what a Final the Fantasy? Long scions are dispersed throughout countless- Hold oh, no, on, we got elves? In Honkai Star Rail? So there is some kind of high fantasy. Or is this a goat person? Unclear. It's living in solitude. In the vastness of the universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyana formed an alliance with the Xianzhou. Oh? And the five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague mobs. So they teamed up with the dragons. Noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. Midgar Soma, bro, what does Sephiroth do to homie? <laughs> High elders too bear mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective, what does the permanence's revelation truly signify? As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world the red moon. continuous change. So the concept Venti. Hold on, run that back. Because when I see Venti, I think Genshin Impact. So these are the different dragons. Ardens. The way of the world. Eurasia. One's path lead to oh. everlasting existence. Countless new creations emerge when one dragon meets its end among the morning stars. So the dragon's power gets passed down to someone else, basically. The teaching of the permanence within the cycle of life. Damn, we're going Lion King on me. It may mark the inception of a new journey. And for him, it is no different. Did he always look like that? So he's... Okay, so he's been bestowed the power of one of the dragons. That makes sense. Which is why he takes on this form. I could have sworn he had a more human form, though. I could be bugging. So was that what? What's our uh, homie's name? Is it Dan Dan Heng? So that was basically explaining us why Dan Heng is the way he is. I feel like the Lauren Star Hour is so much more in depth than than Genshin's. I feel like as someone who, again, who has not even played the game yet, who doesn't even really remember all the characters' names that well, this really is a lot to take in at the moment. <laughs> All right, so we have Cloud Knight's Martial Doctrine, O Sword. What the hell does that mean? Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. This voice. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Well, oh, this is no Jin Yuan's student, right? At first, it was the general. Oh, the female daredevil. I remember you. Champion. 
He told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. Hold on. So, it was the allure of renown. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations. So Jinyuan told the gift of his teachings. Told them about her. Then you wish to forge deeper ties. Didn't Jinyuan also teach them? I remember something about his um in his animation having to fight them. It's more than that. I don't understand the context. Hold on. And striking down those who threaten us. Nobody told me the damn Cloud Knights lived on Mount Olympus. What the hell is going on? My abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> in the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's Glory. With all the questions, miss? Why did you choose the path of the sword? I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. The red eyes. Shutting up. Sword moves beyond such notions. For the sword is just a sword, an instrument determining life and death. That's poetic. I see it. it can tarnish its essence. She's very near automata coded, by the way. Like the design. Only when you've walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment. The blood. Can you understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword? Is that red? Is this just representing all the people she's killed? Oh, you got scared, huh? Stand now. <laughs> Yo, they felt the spiritual pressure. They were like, nah, I'm not on it, bro. <laughs> they were like, yeah, yeah, you strong. I get it. They felt the haki. They felt the chakra coming off of her and was like, yeah, uh, maybe we should fight another time. Let me train. Future sword champion. I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Nothing yeah. More. She said, this isn't an art for me. It's a means to an end. Now our battle begins. Do we want that? Because I think they're dead. Well, now I'm concerned for them. <laughs> Dude, she's so epic though, but terrifying. I feel like I didn't really know her character that well. But now I'm starting to get more of a sense for, damn, she just lives to kill, huh? Or I guess lives to survive. All right, so interastral peace tour, selection, planning, and opportunity. What does any of that mean? Hey there, you. Yes, me? You. You're recruiting me. Gem filled with endless potential. Hold on to your hats. Am I being sold the to? What the? The gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be... The pigeon. What is this, bro? Is that Hattori from One Piece? Rob Lucci? Intergalactic peace. Do you have the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins? If so, our marketing development department is rolling out the... What are you selling me? Why is there a cat person in a suit? Oswaldo Schneider leading the way. A vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. Bro, did they just invent NatWest, Santander, Barclays, American Express? Did you just invent what is this? For someone who values structure and logic? Our business consolidation department offers the perfect. That's sick, I will time. say. With products, editing videos like that looks like it will go hard. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. Heard of hyper distant delivery systems and synesthesia beacons? No. Was one science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got an idea that's nothing short of genius. Bro, this is this is a, this is gonna be Apple in like 20 years. Is waiting for you. Join us and team up with the intelligentsia again. They give Siri a physical body, bro. Dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord. Know that the building material logistics department is the sanctuary for the most art of fun. There's no way that's actually a giant human being looking down on that, by the way. That's clearly a statue, right, guys? Right? Tell me that's a statue. We got giants in Honkai? Because that'll be awesome. Every show you place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brent will form the backbone of our formidable subspace bear. If you're someone whose qualities go beyond the ordinary, unyielding in the hardships of storms, this message is for you. Either should Bro. That was a really good representation. Bro said the whole solar system is just gems in my pocket. You know the way the capitalists just see us as cash, bro? All they see when they look at us is money. <laughs> Teaching investment department, talent is the most precious investment of all. Origin, background, irrelevant. Diamond. They said everyone is welcome as long as you got money, bro. <laughs> 
Wealth Pool. The talent motivation department isn't just another division. It's a shining beacon. A hot gem. That's kind of cool. Top talent deserves top perks. And that's why the talent motivation department was established. So this is, hold on, this is for influencers? Hold on, can I be a part of the Honkai Star Rail influencer? They're giving me like gems and stuff, bro? Every task you undertake serves as the pioneering spark that sets Pierpoint's passion ablaze. Is that Daft Punk? <laughs> Hold on to cherished dreams. Our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. With this the traditional project department's great supervisor, Arena, ready to capture the treasures the tide unveils. I don't know if this is just. Oh no, he's about to do a keynote. Wait. Take the leap. Join our ranks and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds and make the history of the galaxy your very own footprint. Why did that look like that movie Soul, that Disney movie? All for the Amber Lord. Hold on, so they have a whole business representing a god? Also, there was something about this, the style of the art, that made me feel like I was watching a Riot Games trailer. This did not feel like Hoyoverse to me. This really caught me off guard. Or if someone told me this was like Valorant, I would have believed it. All right, so we have an exorcism at Fixer Stroll Garden. So since it's an exorcism, I'm guessing it's Huo Huo. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. When the Xianxiao people roam the galaxy, they That's my shaman king homie. Beings. So lots of spooky stories. Wait, is this how you got possessed? Don't tell me that's how you found occasion, a new Ted Lord's commission judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Oh, bless her. Excuse me. You won. Where are your men? You look possessed, bro. Why is your tongue so long? Licky tongue? Huh? The compass? Uh... Hold on, is that like a dragon radar for ghosts? This art's really cute. Hold on. <laughs> I thought their hand was going to be haunted, but it looks fairly normal. Okay. Let me help you up. Oh! <laughs> Bless her. Bro, she got scared of the homies. Knock, knock. The door isn't going to hold much longer. Bro, she got so scared of normal people that she got clapped and then actually found a ghost. Is that what's going on? The door's coming down. You're rude. This is literally showing up some shaman. <laughs> now she's dead. <laughs> You're out of pocket. You asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? This is what you faced on your first day. Why are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> Wait. Uh, you were telling the story of how you met to her and she got so scared remembering it she died again? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> nah, you said, no, you're not dying today. Get back in there. <laughs> well, I'm stealing the remote. This is so Shaman King-like though. Like with the spirit in the in the floating ball form and it can possess her body and stuff dude uh, that's so interesting i i feel like i'm gonna like this character that was the cutest one though i really like that one man i like their dynamic a lot all right so we got transcendent ruined tunes blushing may blooms bars mother got some sakura the they're always welcome the plum blossoms bloom and wither and I occasionally catch a scent of loneliness. Oh, it's this one. I thought she was cool and it turned out she was sadistic. My childhood, together with you in no man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. Damn, this reminded me of Xenoblade Chronicles. the vastness of the universe too early. Hold on, are you celestial dragons, bro? Is this One Piece? I was different than every other kid. This is really reminding me of Xenoblade Chronicles, actually. What the hell? Like the first game? Shulk storyline? Lamenting the process of life is the origin of my thinking. She's not afraid, she's just curious, huh? 
I began to realize that I longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular cortex, which controls anxiety and pain. She's a scientist? Okay. The laws of emotion can be easily broken down. Children will become more well-behaved when they- Yeah, she just wants to understand everything. Receive random rewards. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to feel empty. She made a whole planet, bro? Hold on, run that back. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet. When she says cultivate a planet, she means make it grow. She didn't she didn't create a planet from scratch. She means make it grow, right? Right? I understand that I long for more fundamental research. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. At first, I was terrified of its appearance. It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had when I was a child. What is she talking about? Death? It asked me, where does the research end? Life is so colorful, but it has nothing to do with me. What? Is she talking about death? The mysteries of the universe and seek deeper answers. I have nothing to lose. And nothing to gain. She's so nihilistic almost. Cultivated and reproduced. You can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct DNA, bro. I will understand life and touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I too can Can what? Become a, become a what? Mm -mm. I need some clues. Become a what? Become an it sounded like she was saying something there, but... She watching us play? What the hell? That's so meta. She's watching the game? <laughs> Worry not, my dear assistant. Are we the assistant? I will reward you. so interesting i'm actually fascinated by this character so far this is the most fascinating character to me a knight of ever flame scene 33 it's not a scene from the actual game is it why is it labeled like that scene 33 planet of festivities hold on wait what drowning and dreams are haven for the is penaconi a planet a person the family has summoned or are they saying penaconi from the planet yes for festivities for Whoa! They're sacrificing goats, bro. What the hell is going on? This marks your right of passage. Akash. What in the Lord of the Rings? I read your eyes and showed you music of the strings. They literally got a star in their eye. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Golden apple? I set your former light and taught you All right, so the mystery of the... Bro, ugh, it's like a spine in the apple, bro. That is not a core. Blade. Temper it with sulfur. Made the elation. So this is everyone within this group. blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, father. A little girl. It's almost like Ouroboros from, um, from the Trials games. The flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. This animation's really cool though. Old man. And Constance at last. My most ambitious. I want to see all these characters. Child, there is nothing more to teach you. Just remember. Without Pelicoli's midnight hour, strip away all the midnight persona three? The midnight hour? What is going on actually? Wait. Oh dear, and leave not but the remembrances too. Oh my god. I was literally sick. Oh, no, 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 run that back. I, they're probably gonna show us again, but I was so, so hoping I get to see them all. Because I was thinking I don't recognize any of these names or these characters. Already love your design. You have a whole devil tail? What the hell is that? Is that literally your arm or is it attached to it? Them hills are going crazy too.
Goat Devil Man? <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Red S Def. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. Albedo. It's all the anime waifus coming together. Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? That's kind of epic. Still. Ilya? From Fate? Head, father. Oh, what the heck? What is our fallback if things become terrible? Are you alive or not? I'm so confused. Fall back. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic. From the back, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this could have been like a different version of Kafka. Now I'm super curious if they have any relation at all. Cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Penacone, see for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. This is a, this kind of fire. Duke Inferno. Ifrit, you're Ifrit. Hold on, this character is Ifrit. Oh my god, dude. Why are the villain groups so cool in this? I'm actually excited to play this and get to know them better. Alright, so next one, we got Revisiting of Past Dreams. Oh? A dazzling item. What is that, like a card? Oh, a card! It it's her, the fortune teller! <laughs> Allow me to divine. Using your memories as a medium. Hold on a sec. Isn't this homeboy, is it, that was fighting against Dung Feng in the previous trailer? I could be bugging. Oh, wait, no. No. Where are we going? Are we at Disneyland? Why is she everywhere, bro? <laughs> she literally take it walking through his memories. That's kind of cool. Why is it so epic? Hey. Why is she hopping on them notes? <laughs> when the Looney Tunes is going on. This is really cool, though. I like the creativity. Where is she going to appear now? This is cool. Surely she's going to find something by the end, though. This sounds like Giorno's theme low-key. Hold on. What Samsung phone is that? So that's whose it was. Was she watching the whole time? Lie. Neither do memories. Or is she still? Is this her in the memory still? It could be both. Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. So she's there. There it is. Dude, she's so interesting. Whoa, the card's gone. That menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on. Huh. That's so interesting because why would the card disappear? Does that mean she no longer has access to that person's memories? I think it's really cool she can hop through memories and like experience people and what they've been through though. Do, do they have to be willing to let her do that? Or can she just do that on contact with someone touching the card? Because that's kind of insane. All right, so we have Sparkle behind the curtain. Sparkle's an interesting character. So hopefully this... She's not a schoolgirl. <laughs> this isn't Sparkle. Doesn't that's Sparkle! Who I am off stage. Sparkle is Hannah Montana, bro. No one told me Sparkle was Hannah... Mo she got the best of both worlds. This makes sense now. Okay. All the audience needs to know. 
that when I'm on stage? She's doing her best. Oh, she no co. Just sparkle. She literally had a Montana. I'm sick. <laughs> my beloved mask. So her persona, that makes sense. Her persona changes. You're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. Okay. When I'm sad, you keep on smiling. You're like so you rely on the mask for stability. The one wearing the veil. That's Sparkle. Okay. Showing number 99. Oh, she's got the mask. My beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry. She's kind of scaring me a little bit. When I'm sad, you're crying too. I'm very confused. What is the mask doing, bro? Is it doing one thing or the other? Showing my reflection. The one in the mirror. The sparkle. My beloved mask. Hold no. Happy, okay, that scared me. When I'm angry. Is she okay? When I'm sad, you're smiling. Okay, Shakespeare, we get it. You're like a face staring at me. I I'm not sparkle. The mask is sparkle? No. I am sparkle. Huh? So, when I realized life was just a play, I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, Persona! Even bigger stage. What do you say? The stage of life? Is that what you. Who's the real Sparkle? After this trailer, I definitely don't know. How am I supposed to know who is Sparkle if Sparkle don't know who Sparkle is? She is literally the type of actor where you don't know if she's acting or not. Is she acting when she's on stage? Is she her when she's off stage? Is it the opposite? I don't know. Kyoden, the cleave across the transient world. So this is a... Uh... Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? The chair from Game of Thrones, but it's a house instead. What the... Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, this is Acheron, right? They wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Yeah. I'll write in May. The world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. Sorry, I played 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, so my brain, after hearing that, that caught me off guard. The first was truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. Jesus. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. Wait, that's kind of interesting. The second was Sky, forged isn't by that, eternal zenith. Isn't that kind of that guy's ability from a, a regular at Magic High School? It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. That is a really cool design, though. The third was Howl. Able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down. Jesus! Bro, clap that dragon like it was nothing. The fourth was mist. Able to break earth and... That's really cool. Oh, it opens up? Wind and rain. The fifth was frost. Freezing the land. I feel like I've seen this one before. The sixth was fate. The restless cycle of life and death. Oh. Then there was flare... Thoth, root, form. That looked like the Buster Sword for a sec. Hold on, run that back. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation. So I'm guessing Acheron has the, the lightning one. This is her in the middle. Victory after victory. Until all of them were broken. The price of every victory. Well, I guess she doesn't. In its entirety. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. 
The first was origin. Okay. The second was end. It's like Xenoblade 3, bro. Lucky 7 and the Sword of the End. The world forged 70,047 blades. Damn. And only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know. This animation the style is awesome. Salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. So you're saying there's no point in fighting? It's the same thing over. Humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything. Hold on, is she not an Oni with the horns? Two words. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. Them blades clapped up, bro. She so, destroyed it all. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. So she fought for nothing? We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into. Is that being forged from blood? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Get to get tension. Hold on. Because these are the swords down here, the old swords. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. And yet. No. No, I'm so curious. Because she just lost her. She... Her hair went white. I'm just. <sighs> I was already sold on the characters and their interactions. This being a very lore heavy video has made me super curious and I hope, I hope all my questions are answered through playing the game. If not, we're going to have to come back and watch these after I played the game to see what kind of relevance they have to the story.